it is time for another exciting episode of Horror with Sir Sturdy. Episode 456. Hell yeah. 456. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you put like in the hours. I was like, damn. That's a holiday lot. month. Yeah, holiday month. And we're still on the uh, <clears throat> Hanukkah and Christmas wheel. Jewish or Hanukkah Christmas. Sorry. I could have called it that, but uh, Jewish Christmas wheel. Yeah, because all and, the movies are not about Hanukkah. Uh, true, very true. Um, but no, what I was gonna say is, so this week what I did was because I was informed that the fourteenth is the last day of Hanukkah. So the last two Hanukkah movies I just put them this week, or the last sorry, not the last, the last two Jewish horror movies. I apologize. I put for this week and then two Christmas movies for next week, and then yeah. We got some fun stuff coming up after that. Can't wait for that. But uh, before we dive into it, I might as well tell you what the hell we're talking about tonight. Jerusalem. <laughs> and I hope you guys have been paying attention since the um, Nightmare on Elm Street versus Friday the 13th. Because these titles, parts of, parts of the title, if not the full title, definitely parts of it. The beginning, at the very least, has been the... Uh, <coughs> Tales from Taylor Swift song. Thanks, my man, Mick Manhattan, and his wife, Miss Manhattan over there, Lady Manhattan, over on the scene snob. Shout out to them. But yeah, it's going to be going on for the rest of the year. So you want to? You should. It it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Um, I'll get your hopes up, though. No, no, it, it wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. As a matter of fact, I'm going to dive into the ratings right now. We can start talking about this movie. So, Jerusalem. Let's see here. Um, Rating no reasons, 30. What do you got? For right now, I'm going to give it a 5. Yeah, I think that's fair. Right now, I'm going to give it a 4. Ooh. Give it a three. Oh. A five, a four, and a three. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lot of know. bullshit nonsense in the beginning, man. That's that's my <sighs> biggest. That is my biggest gripe with it. Is like the first, what was it? First shit, 53 Fucking, minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn near, yeah. yeah. It, 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 took, it took a while to, as far as to get like to the good stuff, to the horror stuff, but the build up, it wasn't a bad movie and the acting wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible acting. It was okay. It was, the acting was decent. Would you count this good. as like found footage style? Because it was a camera, her glasses are camera. It was like, it's like uh, first person. They're running around. Oh. She had like she had like Google glasses, like yeah, yeah like, like Google glasses. Like, oh, open up internet, and she's like yelling shit. Right. And the fucking glasses are doing <laughs> stuff. I'm like, play music, the zombie thing. Which, yeah, yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Because they even showed like the glasses falling off her one time, and just on the ground, and you see shit moving around. Then she grabs yeah. them, puts them back on. But in the beginning, it's just her and the glasses are going to like clubs. They're in a hostel. They meet these two dudes, and they Yo. just go fucking party. And I'm like, hey, 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 let's 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 fuck. pause right because we're jumping all over, which I know we're gonna continue doing. Let's, let's let's talk about that scene right there. Let's talk about that whole part. Not even the clubbing part, but where they get back to the bedroom and the chick, <laughs> the chick is fucking the dude, and her dad's texting her talking about. Like yo, that you're my was... baby girl. Your daddy's good girl and all yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah, good girl, I'm gonna show hope, that shit. Like, hope... geez, why you're probably riding him. <laughs> he say you're probably sleeping. Hopefully you're not out there doing anything crazy. And she's over there riding a dick. <laughs> like yo, this is a wild time for this kind of text message. And for it to be like, it was funny. And I'm, I'm sure I feel like it was meant to be funny, but. It wasn't narrow. It wasn't really necessary. It wasn't important for the scene. Oh, it was fucking funny though. It was fucking funny though. I'm it all like, started oh. off in the bath at first. She was about to give him head, but that yeah, she, that she ta- he talked shit about her brother. Didn't know it was her brother. Right. So he was this thought it was like an ex boyfriend. 
Yeah. And, and so she got mad. Right. But then all of a sudden that changed. They got back to like, you know what? What's his name again? I forgot his name. Kevin. Ke Kevin, yeah. Next you know they're in the room. Yeah. I'm like, they just look at each other. Hey Kevin. Uh, and then just fucking my my <laughs> whole thing is like, right? What's the point of even looking through her phone if you're about to get your dick sucked? What's the point of looking through her phone? Yeah. yeah. He's multitasking. I don't know, man. I know your mind's not gonna be on that damn phone. You're gonna be concentrating, nah, like, like yo. Look, look, look. This is me. I don't know what a phone, phone is. Here. I know, right? Like You're like, Jesus. where am I? You know, help you, our. You already know your name at the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely don't know her name. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, uh, because I'm like, why does he want to go through her phone? Yeah, I know. Like, it was so corny. He was like, who's this guy? He looks weird. The, talking all this shit, and it was a, ended up being her brother. You find out later. Like you said, yeah. so corny. Not even that much later. And I'm just like, what in the fuck, man? Yeah, it's just like, a lot wow. of nonsense shit. Like, I don't judge it. I'm fine with that. Yeah, they went to visit Jerusalem. It was a trip. You know they're going to get wild drink and meet up but, and just have a fling and go back home. It's like spring that, break. That, that's, no, that's all fine and shit. I just wish that everything happened a half hour sooner, let's say. Oh, yeah. Even if it was I, half hour yeah. sooner. Oh, I, yeah. I was hoping... Okay, I don't want to skip ahead so so far, but like with the the fallen angel zombie things, they mm -hmm. had like wings and shit. They look like fucking kind of like fallen angels or something. Whatever the hell they were, except yeah, yeah, for yeah. the except for the fucking titans. You got the fucking giant things walking in the background. I thought they were going to show more of them, like destroying buildings or something. Mm, nope. Nope. You just see the top of the head moving. I was like, oh shit, there's a titan. Remind me of this anime that is so popular right now. He's just a fucking Titan guy just walking by. Then you got these little, don't give me the ground ones with the wings. Some of them look pretty cool. They look like really like pale old fucking people. They're like, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool looking. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, man, the fucking, the buildup was so slow because it was just nonsense shit. Yeah. Yeah, they go check out a cave, and then Kevin has like a fucking panic attack. Like, yeah, not even, not even twenty feet in the cave, and it's like, I gotta go. I can't breathe. <laughs> it all started because he seen the all uh, the markings on the wall. Right. <laughs> then he like, then he ends up locked up in a fucking asylum sign with a whole bunch of nut jobs. Yes, he did. That, what do they call it? Is that a real thing? They called it uh, uh, Jerusalem syndrome or something like that. If you go there, it's like, what is it so like? Holy or something that you lose your mind or something? I don't even know. Didn't they explain? I'm sure. It? I'm sure it's a a, new, a real thing. That's the sad part. Or okay, maybe the people good are part. people are locked up, like talking out of their mind and shit. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The one building because they were like, "What is that?" You yeah. he was like, "You don't want to go in there," and was explaining it to him. But he goes in there to fucking investigate or something, and he ends up getting locked up in a fucking room. <laughs> I should get for being nosy. Oh, for one, that girl, you just met that dude. Listen, if the world, if the fucking uh, cities get locked down, I had to get out because of giant monsters and shit. Fuck that I'm dude. Leaving. I'm out of there. I don't know. I don't have. Uh, listen, I just met you. <laughs> You're cool and all, but. Right. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> it, 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 it's one thing if we're still inside, like, yo, let's go grab. What's his name? Kev? Let's go get Kevin. But if we're all outside and they're about to lock that gate, right? Yo, so you got, one of you guys want to go back and get Kevin? Nah, it's too dangerous. Oh, all right. right. Yeah, when both soldiers were like, "No," and she's like, "Fuck you, assholes!" I was like, "Are you shitting me right now?" Like, like you said, you only slept with her or slept with him one time. Exactly. Like you're fucking crazy. You did all the work, so it couldn't have been that good. So like, why? Right. Why you got to get Kevin? You can find someone better. <laughs> find David over here that made yeah. it on those. Yeah, different. Was like. Time. I understand the movies like if it's their kid or their husband or something, but you just yeah. met this fucking dude. <laughs> Drives me nuts. I don't understand that. You you sacrifice yourself for her, someone you just meet. Mm -hmm. And he expected her too. He's like, "Oh, you came," but how he said you came, I was like, "You thought she was coming here, like, bro?" I'd be like, "I'm fucked. Like, this is it." Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, "Fuck, <laughs> man." <laughs> Everybody's dead, or they left me. Right. <laughs> As soon as I seen her dog, like, oh, you came for me? She's like, in my head, I'm like, you're a fucking crazy bitch. Once I'm out of here, ghosting you. <laughs> She's like, break her legs so she gets these legs off. And you're like, ha ha, bitch. I'm like, you're crazy. That means you're too mm -hmm. clingy. You're obsessed right. with me already. You came and risked your life to save me? Fuck that. Listen, man. 
that's that that right there. That didn't even bother me too too much because I guess you kind of knew something like that would happen. It was just again all the crazy shit. At least a build up towards it, like a nice build up towards it would have been great. Something should have been going on throughout the movie, even with like say, I guess you'd say quote unquote extra characters, or they're getting killed or picked off by these things, and we see it. Oh, no, they had invisible ones. There was rumors going around. Did you hear about people are getting killed in the city? There's You hear uh, women crying. Like, he's in the bedroom out there getting banged. They woke him up. He heard screaming in the background and, like, in this, out the window. Staring out the window. I heard something. Yeah. All, yeah, acting all free. I thought he was turning or something. Like, did something get him? Same. He's acting That's all weird and shit. <laughs> but, like, but no, but I'm saying, though, like... It's one thing to hear all that, but being able to see some of that carnage. No, being able they should have. Yeah, they should have seen. It. Yeah, we should have seen like slowly, like you see one zombie, like someone get attacked. You're like, okay, oh shit, what's going on here? And it builds up, but we don't see nothing until 53 minutes in. Then all hell breaks loose. <laughs> yeah, <they don't laughs> yeah. Where did the fucking Titans come from? Is it from the caves? Did they come out of fucking the sky? I don't, I don't fucking understand. James, the more you talk about this movie, the more we talk about this, the more it's making me want to drop it down a point. I, well, why do you think I gave it a four, man? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to join you with that. I'm going to. It's, it's fucking makes no sense. And see, I gave it a three only, mainly because uh, I did enjoy how they shot it because I thought the production value on the camera, at least, was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, it was. Um, the scenes were pretty good. Yeah. They didn't do the like kind of crappy found footage where it's kind of blurry or always out of focus and stuff. Yeah. So I was like, well, I can respect good cinematography at least. Yeah, that was uh, good. And like I said, some of the fucking zombie things look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So I respect what, it. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, that's pretty cool looking. You know what I will say though, to just with your with your point of the how how good it looked, Paul, with the found footage thing is because they gave it the perspective of getting shot through glasses the whole time. So it wasn't like somebody having to hold a kid, which I do. I, I like that aspect of it. And I honestly would like to see more found footage shot with that kind of visual, just because of the way technology is nowadays yeah. and how, you well, know, that how would be is. like, that would be like a GoPro. Right. Or the, either, or would work. I don't need to go, but I'm just saying, I mean, we kind of seen it with the GoPro a little bit with, um, at least some scenes I'll say with, uh, never hike alone bits and pieces. You see yeah, a little bit. True. But for a full, I wouldn't be mad at a full GoPro, but just the Google glasses, I think it'll be fun. It'll be now, fun do one. they still, I heard, are they still around or did they flop? The glasses, I have no idea, to be honest with you. I think Google launched them and then kind of retracted it. And they're talking about making them better for the augmented reality stuff. So I think they took oh. a step back. Wow. Okay. Next thing you know, they're going to be contacts, man. You put contacts in, it's going to be the internet right in your fucking eyeball. I don't want Isn't Musk going to do the thing with the chip in your head that's going to... There you go. All that I shit. To be, I don't want none of that. I want it to be outside of the body, so that way when you walk away from <laughs> it, you can fucking be away from it. Yeah, because what if all sudden happens? You can't see normal. You're just seeing fucking videos nonstop. Right. You're like, son, I got to reboot. Something's going on. <laughs> well, I, I got some <laughs> shitty friends that will fuck with me if they find a way to Bluetooth into my fucking head. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wake you open your mouth like... and sound of porn comes out. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just hear donkey and some yeah, it's gonna be some weird <laughs> shit happening. <laughs> yeah, that's not even how the body works. Why is this doing this? You put that right. chip in your body. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I did like it. Um, I think I got spoiled because a lot of zombie movies they go into it so quick. Yeah. I guess I'm so used to like ten minutes being about the threshold before you see a, a good zombie, typically. That's um, true. That's fair. That's fair. But so, even like, I mean <laughs> What's up, Casey? <laughs> What's good, Casey? All about some edge. <clears throat> How's it going? Hope all is well. <laughs> Holy shit, that threw me off. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Said head chips. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you found footage, I really did. You guys ever see Diary of the Dead? No, no. It's by George Romero. It's it's a found footage version of um a zombie movie. Like people just oh. shooting a short film and then the apocalypse starts to happen. They're just filming it with their cameras. And that one is, I think it's almost one of my favorite zombie movies. Probably top three. Oh, wow. I got to check that one out. Really? 
Really? Like I've been, I don't have nothing against found footage. I've been really into found footage lately. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's just, I'm just saying that the story is wasted in the beginning. So much. <laughs> Not needed dialogue. Other yeah. dumb jokes. Flirting yeah. with the taxi driver, all that. Yeah. I'm, I feel like what would have made this better as well, too, to where maybe the slow build or slow burn wouldn't have been so bad if <clears throat> they knew what they were getting into. And that's the reason why they were going there was to see those things because it was a myth or because it was a story. If they heard, whatever the case may be. Like better. that, like Kevin was there for. There you go. That's why he was <laughs> there. <laughs> I'm just saying, <clears throat> but for them to like want to see, and then it's like, okay, so what are we going to see here? What do these things look like? Blah, blah, blah. Right. Then you eventually see them and it just. <laughs> right. What was awful, the movie or the experience with the lady? <laughs> That's a great question. Diary of the Dead was the first movie I ever got silly with a lady in the theaters with. And it was awful. Yeah. What was, what part was awful? The movie, the lady? The experience? Did you not finish? Probably both. Did you eat all the popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> the movie, 100. percent The movie. Got it. Damn. Um, I'm sorry, Casey. I'm gonna get a text about that later. He's gonna be like, we need to talk about some movies real quick. That's a top three zombie movie. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. I I can't judge. I've never seen it. I have never seen it either. I enjoyed yeah. it. And it could be, maybe there could be some nostalgia to that because I think that was the first rated R I saw once I was of age to get my own rated R ticket. Ah, I okay. think so. It might have been that had to do with it. But I, I, I the excitement because you're in there, the adrenaline yeah. was rushing. And I, I was smoking a lot back then too. So that oh. kind of encouraged some of it as well. That don't always oh, help. Shit. Trust me, that don't always help because I've watched them. Oh, I saw foreplay. No happy ending. <clears throat> oh, that's just all tease. No, that's all. <laughs> times where I've or I've watched movies. You know, I, I like to smoke weed. Of course, I love mm -hmm. to smoke weed. I like and you know watch it dur dur during or before a movie, depending on where I'm watching the movie at. And I've I've seen movies that are so bad, I almost feel like it sobers me up. We're just like, oh, God, <laughs> get so bad, you're like you fucking ruined my buzz, man. That's like twenty dollars yeah. worth of shit, man. <laughs> Plus the movie ticket, I'm down a hundred bucks now. <laughs> Fuck. Right. Oh shit. Oh shit. But nah, it's um. <clears throat> getting back to this one, <sighs> it's another one of those ones that just kind of like, fuck. Yeah. Yo, two weeks ago, James, we had some awesome movies. I know. I know we're on a bad streak now. <laughs> and I called this. I was like, yo, we had these two back to back good, really good movies that we both enjoyed. It's gonna start going downhill from there, and it did. Yep. <laughs> Silent Night, the keep this, but okay. To be fair, to be fair, this is better than the keep, so that is going up. Okay, so good let's point. Hope, let's hope Hanukkah is better than this, and then next <laughs> week with the Christmas movies, um, which I may be doing a late night with thirty this Friday, but I'm not sure yet. I got to talk to a couple people, but anyways. And then the lodge in the mean one for next week for the last two Christmas movies. Let's 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 see. I mean, maybe we'll get three good. Maybe we'll get three good ones after. Maybe after there you go. I hope. We'll have to start the new year off right with some good ones. Hopefully, yeah, all right. Oh, I have a wheel made for. I have a wheel made, or I have a wheel idea. I think I have a wheel made for the new year. Um, I don't remember if I have movies on it. I have to check. But I can't spoil you for that until next Thursday. I might tell you guys behind the scenes, but oh, I can't. Yeah. Spoil, I can't tell you guys out loud. Out. I think you showed me. I just forgot. <laughs> uh, until the wheel gets until the wheel's getting ready to get spun. Mm -hmm. you know, gotta do it like that. Are there any movies you guys would compare this to, as far as to what just other movies of like this? Nothing I could really think of. I was trying and I was trying to think of that because I know we've watched movies. A style of it. There's a style of movie like this. It was a, uh, it was like a vampire version one. I keep forgetting what the fucking movie was called. Same. What do you mean? Like the where where there are two movie? buddies, they go to abroad, and they're like in a city. They go to a nightclub, but the one dude gets like attacked in the alley or something, and he slowly turns into a vampire. And in the final footage, the, his friend is like recording everything. Was that the Canadian one? It might have been. That that show was pretty cool. That was kind of like this because they're like abroad and it's showing yeah, them like yeah. they were partying 
kind of, but I it was a little faster pace. It wasn't as slow. No, it was. It yeah. was definitely a faster pace. But then he more. got attacked, like, in the beginning. So he started, it started showing him transforming into a vampire really slowly. So, like, okay. all the stages. Gotcha. That's so it, cool. Oh, what the fuck that movie is called? <laughs> <laughs> Drive me nuts. I think it starts with, it might start with an A. Afflicted? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. I've seen. Yes, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, that was way, 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 way better. Than that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, it kind of reminded me of that. Just because uh, they're in a hostel abroad. No, it was. You're right. It was. It was. If I felt like the traveling ish was similar esque, but no, that movie was. That <laughs> yeah, that movie was way better. That's why I, right I was watching. I, while I was watching Final Fantasy, I was like. God damn, this final footage is pretty goddamn good. That's why I started searching for more. This one yeah. Right yeah, this one was yep. pretty cool. Just to show you some crazy shit you've seen before. Like that. I mean, come on. Yeah, man. fucking. That's some crazy and his shit. His friend's still stuck by his side, man. He's still sitting like, you okay? You okay? Just sitting there chilling with him. Fucking. You guys, start, you guys start doing that. I'm getting right off the cast immediately. Yo, I'm going to be no throwing question. holy water on you and shit. <laughs> They're getting possessed. I'm like, this motherfucker's about to levitate. I'm getting <laughs> <laughs> well, tell crazy crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your mother sucks cocks in hell. I'll be like, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adopted. She might. <laughs> she might. <laughs> tell her I said, hey. <laughs> Holy shit. God bless oh, America. My God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was funny. I was, <clears throat> but right after I finished Jerusalem, my mom called me and she was like, Oh, what'd, what'd you watch? Because I told her I was watching this to review with you guys. And um, I was like, Well, if you took the Jerusalem scene from World War Z and you made it really shitty and made it 53 minutes of nothing and then some zombies, that's what it was. And she was like, Oh, exactly. So did you like it? And I was like, No. That is. <laughs> Funny you say that, Joe. That is so funny you say. <laughs> You're right. Kind of is. Holy shit! Holy shit! Yeah, this movie wasn't. Uh... No, because earlier me and James were talking about um World War Z and okay. the connect with it. I mean, look at the Red Z. Yeah, yeah, I know. I did that like half, you know. You know, yeah. what's funny. This is a prequel. This is like they're showing the inside of the uh, of the city before Brad Pitt gets there. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, but remember, it's a world war, so it's. But fucking oh, by the way, the ending. So I didn't see no more Titans, but hmm. they're all flying. I thought yeah. the girl escaped. I was like, oh shit, she's free. Yeah. The one friend. By the way, I don't understand that when someone a friend gets bit. No, she's gonna be okay. No, they're never okay. Shoot the right. bitch in the head and go. But anyways, yeah. they, they, they escape. She grows wings, starts flying, and all of a sudden she looks at the city. You see thousands of these things flying up in the air. I'm like, oh, there's the end of the world. Definitely a lot more horrifying with that than this shit. <clears throat> <laughs> Absolutely right, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one wasn't. I'll leave it at a four, though. <laughs> it's only a Ford, like I said, because some of the things look cool. I, I would have been happy if they showed more of the fucking Titan things, yeah. like smashing things up or something, like the giant fucking <clears throat> zombies. It might have gotten an extra point if it hadn't had that sex scene for me, because that just made uh, me cringe. I was like, "Wait, why? What is this?" And I see like the text popping up by with the dad. Yeah, like, that was why? cringy. That is weird that they put that in there. Why? Right. Because <laughs> he went on and on and on and on and on and was like, Oh, I haven't heard from good. you. I hope yeah. your friend has not dragged you into doing something bad. Uh, your daddy's uh good girl. Well, like, she's on top he, of and him. That saying that sounded weird. I was like, I'm Jesus. Shit, bro. Like, <laughs> these things, you see them from like a distance a lot. Yeah, those mm -hmm. things, like, yeah, they're from the distance. They look pretty cool. I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember this. Yeah, right, right, there. right there. You know your oh, friend. I'm like, shoot that bitch in the head. Bye. Oh, Goodbye. I throw her in the fire. That's a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> or chop yeah. her head off with that giant ass sword that she stabbed the point through through the neck. Even though that's his own fault. She's yelling out saying, "Hey, 
yelling people's names. He he could have said, I'm over here. He runs up on her, and he, she turned around and a sword through his neck. Yeah, basically. Yeah. His own fault. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Then the son, I think that's his son. He's like, this shit's ending. We're, go we're all going to die. He blows his brains out. Himself. He took himself out of the equation. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that they went the normal route where the, the drunk Jesus is the one that knows everything that's happening and going on. <laughs> the source of the information. I was like, you could have chosen anybody else to have like their head on their shoulders. No, like the military guys, they don't know shit. No nope. drunk Jesus walking the streets of Jerusalem knows it. It's, all. it's you know, it, I, it's such an easy throwaway, but they just do it because it's like that's the person that it's a town drunk. Everybody's gonna ignore him. He's just talking. You know, it is it's because it's one of those people. It's like. The people with the signs, the world's going to end. Yep. It's like like it's like God's talking to me, but no one's listening to him. Yeah. Yep. It's all proven they're right, you know, that type of yeah. shit. <laughs> yep. The old races yeah. at the gas station before they hit the campgrounds or whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And for one, those two army guys, morons. <laughs> Why were they listening to these fucking civilians? I would have said, you know what, get the fuckers. I would have shot them all and just left. I'm like, listen, I would, I'm not dying because of you uh, fucking people. Get out of here. Yeah, I didn't I didn't like how they portrayed the military because I'm like, that's one of the oldest nations on this earth, and uh, they have their shit together yeah. pretty well, from my understanding of any of their military. So, um, like you said, them listen to civilians? Nah. And then not knowing what to do? Nah. They, they're going to be locked down. They know what's up. Exactly. <clears throat> but in but my only thing is maybe in that situation because it's a different kind of beast, like literally. True. It's like, oh fuck, what am I supposed? To? Like I, I get fighting in other people in another army, but these motherfuckers. <laughs> now, I, I, well, I think they were U.S. military, weren't they? Didn't they say they were U.S. Americans? They're calling them Americans. Oh no, they're talking to the two to the people that were there to the. Um, oh, I thought they were talking to the two military because that one guy hated him. He was like. No, yeah, they're Americans or something. They think they're blah blah blah. No, no, yeah, they were talking about the the two girls. Oh, okay. I thought I was talking about right. the military guys. Because I was about to say, why is the other military locking their own people in? The military people could have just like go. We got guns. Get the hell out of the way. Let us in. Let us out. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we could have done a lot of things, but it didn't do. No. <laughs> Could have been a lot shorter. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, it should have. Yeah. Hundred percent right. should have been shorter. I like a seventy minute movie. movie, movie a bit. Again. Three Fine. and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking before he's dropping it? I can't help it, man. Because it, no, it, yeah. it, it's it's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't I love bad horror movies, but this wasn't even bad like in that sense where it was like a fun bad. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't fun. Even, yeah. And it wasn't bad to where it was like a terrible movie. It was just boring till damn near the end. Yeah. And didn't pick up enough. To be like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, it was like the last half hour. It started picking up. Shit's happened. I'm running around. You've seen a little bit of things. People mm -hmm. getting attacked. You hear gunshots. They go to the cave. You're like, oh, shit, something's going to happen. Nope. But all that before that was I'm just sitting here watching. I'm like, it's, what is this? A spring break movie? What the fuck is going on here? I'm like, where's the stuff? Where's the zombies? I'm like, I don't care. They're hooking up with these guys. They're at a club going around. Ooh, gives a fuck. Mm. <laughs> For all the trauma she had from her brother's death and all that, they made that dialogue like, what, two sentences when she talks to Kevin about it? Yeah. She's like, oh, he died this way, blah, blah, blah. And that was it. It's like, you wrote a letter to you know God, being like, "Bring my brother back, asshole," and all this shit, and you took get all this shit broke out. <laughs> but then he only gets two sentences. Yeah. Oh, what by that, that, is that what she sees at the end? She sees him, and he guides yeah. her out. Yeah. Come Something on. Like For one, he didn't die there. Why is he there? How would we make this better? <laughs> um. Change the first hour, making it a porn parody. To World War Z. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shit. Make this better. Less. At least a build nonsense up. Nonsense in the beginning. Format. Yeah, build, a better like, build up. Like, make, have make, more like, kills in the beginning. Show more zombies. 
Uh, that too, but I'll say like like have the story be more interesting because I feel like with these type of movies with these type of stories, they need to they it needs to have a good story to make you actually care about the story and the build up and actually have a build up then get to the end. It's not like a slasher to where you can just have the random going out getting drunk parties, fucking and then some. But then you also get some slashing and some killing though. You do get that. Now the thing is, I don't even know if this is a fucking zombies. They made it seem like it was like biblical. Like it was the rapture. Right. Like all the fallen angels are back to wipe out mankind to reset the world. Yeah. I mean, they did. I don't say they were holy zombies. I don't know. It's in a holy well, angel. if they had wings, they're like they're fallen angels. Like <laughs> fucking. Yeah. Angels. Yeah. 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 I think if I wanted to make it better, I'd do the last half hour first and then do the timeline back from the start. <laughs> this is how I got here. Yeah. Not not even that. I would just add more to the <clears throat> to the first freaking fifty some odd minutes as far as <laughs> something that's interesting. Yeah, However yeah. long it was, I don't even know it was. It needed more excitement. It needed something instead of just them talking and showing up on the bars and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And just more meeting than just- people, getting to know that one guy, Kevin, oh, and he's talking his nonsense. Oh, I came here because uh these fallen angels or something. There's you see that video? Oh, oh, oh. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, more. I was gonna say more than just that, and then more than just the town talk. Yeah, more than just yeah. the town talk. Like, That's also true. The characters weren't. Uh, yeah, I wasn't attached to the characters oh. at all. You didn't care about. Any I kind of wanted them all to die, honestly. Right. But th- again, this goes back to like them, the story, the character to develop. There was no character development, so you don't at care all. about them. Oh, it's kind of thrown into this. In a sense, it goes like all of them would have died, and I didn't give a crap. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) no, (laughs) all of them could have. Yeah, (laughs) that's a great way to live. All of them would have, you wouldn't even care. You wouldn't even care. care. You didn't know anything about them besides the little bit of them traveling. Yeah, her brother died, but there was like nothing like that's all you heard. It was like nothing like, come on, let's go out, let's just go get a drink. Like her depressed, it wasn't like no. Building of the character. There's nothing like showing depression. Nothing, nothing like that. She just had her no glasses girl, and nothing. she's like, okay, let's go. Let's go. It's just glasses. like a normal girl on spring break. <laughs> glasses, club dress, and she's ready to blow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, he ruined it for himself. Wow, yeah, once so. again, like shit like that. Like, just if you're gonna make make it make sense, no dude's gonna just be like, let me let me just go through my phone real quick. Okay? Yeah. No, no, hers. Hers. Right. No, right. Like, who's this? Uh, what the fuck? Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. Here's the only way. The only way I'm pulling a phone out is to watch some porn. Or it's two reasons. Watch porn or record with con- with consent. That's the only two. Oh, reasons. there you go. I th- That would have made I'll sense. Just- like, if he was like, oh, yeah. Like, she's like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I just want to record this or something. That would have made sense. Yeah. But no, her. he's going through her, like, Facebook and shit. Like, <laughs> Which is just weird. Right. <laughs> it's just weird. It made no fucking sense. And yes, we're going back to that part because it's just something that really yeah, that made no sense. That part was annoying. And, and the reason why we say it makes no sense because we're guys. We know what we would do in that situation. Right. And it, right. And nothing to do with looking at Facebook. <laughs> I, 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 for, I, I would forget where I put my phone. I, I was about to say, I couldn't <laughs> tell you any situation I've been in close to that where I could tell you where any anybody's phone was. Exactly. That's like, like when, when, when I'll put it to you like this. When that situation comes, whether it comes to where you're just going to a regular room, you're going to wherever you're going, and it could be even with your, your, someone you're with now, let's say. It doesn't have to be from the past and all that other shit. But when that's about to go down, you know that's about to go down. You're not just like, oh, hang on. Let me, let me hold up. Yeah. Let me change no. my stuff. Yeah. Was was he like, oh, she's unbuckling my pants. I have like 30 seconds. Let me check your Facebook real quick. No, oh, fuck that. As soon as the as soon as the hand grab and you go to a specific room alone, tuck that shit right in the pocket. I would have been like, bitch, you're slow. Let me help you out. Unbuckle the belt. <laughs> I thought you were about to say something. I can do it myself. I can do it myself. Watch this. I can do it better. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, I got two ribs removed. I can do this oh, shit myself. God, I love the scary movies. <laughs> I know. Fucking funny. Fucking funny. Oh my god. Honestly, yeah, this... I'm not even gonna drag this one on too much longer, Beeps, because uh <laughs> not too much more to say about this movie. It 
it wasn't that great. I give it a three and a half. And um, watch at your own risk. That's what that's that's what it is that for me is watch at your own risk. I'll never tell you not to watch a movie because you may like it, you may love it, you may hate it too. Shit, and that's fine too. But uh, that said, listen, peeps, we'll be back Thursday, eight o'clock Eastern time. I don't have the uh, card thing made up, but I do have the movie poster. But reviewing the movie Hanukkah. Never seen it. A terrifying new tale of horror. <laughs> 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 I like that. I can't wait. Uh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> and on top of that, I believe that movie came out in 2019. So Ooh, a little bit new. I mean, four years newer than, than Jerusalem. This one came out in 2015. Okay. But it'll be fun. Um, make sure you guys go to horrorreservecity.com. You can check out all of my stuff. Do have a Patreon. Just a dollar tier right now. I will be working on more. Don't worry about that. I will be working on more. And Popcorn and Pines are doing some more Christmas movies this weekend. So make sure you guys tune in for that as well. I'll be doing some gaming too. And I may be doing, again, the uh, Late Nights with Sir Sturdy. That may be coming back. That is coming back. So, which is, it's either going to be a Friday night or a Saturday night. You know, the guys that game, the, the crew I game with usually. And this is open to whoever's been on the show that I'm cool with, you know, whoever, you know, whoever wants to come on here and review some movies with us. So it's going to be at midnight, maybe a little bit later. Let you guys know the movie ahead of time. If we do it this week, it's going to actually, the movie this week is going to be, uh, it's a wonderful knife and it's over on shutter and AMC plus or whatever. Yeah. Shutter and AMC plus. So if you want to join us for that, if we do do it, I'll know. I should know by hopefully tomorrow, but Wednesday, Thursday, I'll let you guys, I'll keep you guys posted. With all that, but uh, yes, yes, yes. And Casey, I greatly appreciate you popping in here, man, along with everyone else. Great chat with you as well. And yes, if you want yeah, to steer, watch, clear, watch it steer. anyway. Yeah, you Casey, like you're going to love it. You'll love no, I'm, listen, I'm not going to tell Casey to watch it anyway because I had Casey watch Blood Lake. And then, Paul, didn't you have him watch The Stupids like the very next week? I did. And then he yeah, stopped we, doing the we, reviews. He and him are the reasons why he, he quit one of the, the one of the shows they used to do. He made him retire. Because of two back to back horrible movies. I haven't seen the stupids, but I want to see it so bad. But I we're gonna Blood Lake. <laughs> no, Blood Lake was god awful. Don't 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 do that to yourself again, Casey. Once is enough. I did it twice, and I'm probably gonna do it again, possibly, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> But everyone out there, I appreciate you all in uh, the thirty verse and thirty land, all that good stuff. You guys have an amazing night. Um, I hope you had an amazing day. And the audio that I just, you know, from last Tuesday just dropped today. And if you guys listen to the audio, you know, now next Tuesday, there's going to be, you know, a live show tonight at eight o'clock. Senior nightmares, peace. Peace. <laughs>